All right. Um, proud of our guys. You know, it, it, we had an emotional game a week ago against Marshall, a team that's, you know, has been the pretty much the dominant team in this league the last two years, just at least the most consistent. So you go up there and don't play your best, and then to bounce back this week and for our guys to come out with that kind of effort, the effort was unbelievable. I mean, we had more offensive linemen downfield making blocks. Our defense harassed that quarterback. I mean, that that is what you want to be about. Was it perfect? No, we're never perfect. I'm not perfect. Our players aren't perfect. No, no one in this world is perfect. So you're never going to have a perfect game. But the effort and the toughness and what you want to be about was everything tonight. And there'll be a lot to correct, okay? But I'm, I'm not going to dwell on that. Long time ago, I learned that uh, you don't have to be the best team in the conference. On every given night, you don't have to be the best team in the country. You just have to be the best team on the field, and that's what we were tonight. When that thing rings zero, you just have to win by one, and then you go to the next week. We're at four. Okay, that's where we're at. And um, next is Charlotte. So I'm proud of our guys. I'm proud of the week they've put in. It's, it's seven straight weeks that our guys have practiced well, have played hard, and like I said, it hasn't been perfect. The life's not perfect. Our team's not perfect. I'm not perfect. But if we get that kind of effort every week, uh, we're going to be just fine. Unbelievable. G great effort. And it's it's been back-to-back -back weeks. We're, we're only getting better on defense. We're only getting better. Um, I think our guys were, are athletic. I think they dominated the front. You know, really, the one drive, we, we turned the ball over. They got a touchdown. The other one, we just missed a bunch of tackles on a draw play. That's it. Other than that, I don't know what how many yards they end up with. But our, our guys, by how hard they played, how much fun they had playing. And uh, we got a special group. We really do. Well, again, I, we, have, we have good players. I'm happy for DJ. It's gone a couple of weeks where he really hasn't been a factor. Not, not anything to do with him. Just sometimes that happens. You just don't get the ball as often as you'd like. And uh, tonight he came up big, you know, uh, you know, converting a third, and I don't know what it was, forever. Um, hell, I thought we were running it, and all of a sudden the ball's up in the air. Great call. You know, that's awesome for them to go man and for us to have a chance to hit it. So I'm, I'm happy for those guys. This, this is a player's game, man. You, you do it uh, for that, for singing the fight song in the locker room, to see their smiles, to see all their hard work pay off. That's why you do it. You, you see it for that and for guys to have a chance to make plays um, and as hard as we play. That's really it. Still have to work on elevating the ball. I mean, I, I'm not B. Debbie Downer here. I'm fired up he made four field goals, but we've got to continue to elevate the ball. I mean, we've got to get it up in the air. I'm happy for him. I'm happy that uh, – I'm not happy we had to kick four field goals. No, I'm not happy about that. But I am happy that the ones that we did kick, they went through. we we got to be better, obviously, in the, in the score zone, and we can't turn it over. I don't know. Every team's a little bit different. You know, I think that's part of it. I think we're we're healthy where we can rotate guys. And our guys are starting to understand it. And, and you know, I mean, every team's different. You know, we'll have to figure out what Charlotte does. And, and you can't carry it over. So you keep telling your team, you can't carry over yards. You can't carry over points. You can't carry over a defensive game plan. It's next week. And you have to do it every week. This, you just can't. Yep, now we have to figure out what Charlotte does, enjoy it tonight, and then figure out what Charlotte does. And whatever they do, we got to figure out a way to defend it and, and do it better and keep getting better as a team. The team you are now can't be the team we're going to be this week. We're better than they are. That's bottom line. We're better than they were. We should have. I mean, we, we have a better team. And I don't mean that any disrespect. But, you know, that their quarterback was beat up, and we got after him pretty good, and we're, we're good on defense. That's why I told our team. What it means is four turnovers, and you win by three touchdowns. you got a good football team. That's what it means. That means you are capable of beating anybody that's left on our schedule. Charlotte's this week, so I don't want to put that before. But bottom line is, is we'll have plenty of time to look at that, of what we can do better, and, uh, and put the game away at halftime. But we didn't.
It's never easy. Again, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. Our team's not perfect. But that kind of effort is what, it, what it's supposed to look like. And with talent and effort and playing physical like our guys did, last year we rushed for 57 yards against them on the road. 57 yards. I mean, our, I think our offensive line was a little bit upset. We put a number 57 around the building all week, and I think they took that to heart. Guys did a good job running the football. You know, that that's the biggest thing. Can we be balanced? You know, there's there's a lot of plays that, you know, you wish you had back. Um, but Nick's a good football player. Nick leads our team, and uh, we got to do it better as coaches. We got to design it better. We got to make sure we rep it enough to where Nick knows exactly where to go with the ball. And, um, you know, there's a couple other times where it's just, um, we'll take some of that as well. I don't know. Sometimes we play a team we're just better than. I, I don't. I don't really look at that after a loss. I just know we've had seven good weeks of practice and we've got a good team. So whether that happens to follow a loss, it, it, what do you want to do? You want to turn around and say hey, every time we followed up a win with a loss? I mean, I don't know. Other than one time, I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't worry about that. I worry about what we do this week. And I get the point. I'm not trying to be. I am being a little bit of a. But I'm just saying in general, I don't really look at it that way. I just look at it that, hey, we got a good football team. We, we have a chance to do, we have good coaches, we have good players, we have a great institution. Um, that's why I wanted to be the head coach here. And it, we're, just, we're just hitting the tip of the iceberg how good we can be. Well, obviously we're not doing it well enough. Whatever that, whatever that is, I mean, and it's different, but uh, you know, you're not going to win very often if you turn it over that much. And it's, it's not something that you see during the week. You know, I don't see Nick throw picks during the week. He rarely throws a pick during the week. And we don't fumble it during the week. But, but obviously, we've, we've got to rectify that. It's one of the five ways you win. It's not turning it over and creating turnovers. The good news is, early in the game, when we turn it over, right away, we got a, we got a fumble back. It, it, that, that was a real momentum changer where we ended up with, with a fumble recovery. And it kind of stopped it, and we went down and scored. And so... You know, that's, that's, that's the big part. How does your team play off each other? And, uh, again, we, we just happened to uh, – we were better. You know, turned over four times, and, and, and that, that's, that's the case. We played great. You know, and it's a different animal. You know, I mean, it, you know, it, depending on the competition dictates, you know, how well you play. And those guys play hard. I mean, you know, that, that is also a group that lost 30-something seniors last year off that team. And and they've they've had, you know, six straight weeks of playing good people and, and had a chance last week to win, and uh, they've got talented guys. They've got talented wilds. The running back's a good player, so but um, but we, we have a lot to clean up. But we have a good football team. Our defense, our guys up front, because it wasn't kicking field goals, so it was our defensive front. I mean, that's that's what it was. I mean, our defensive front got after them. I mean, there was a number of, number of times. I mean, even even the one I think the last time they kicked a field goal, we had a chance with that running back 10 yards deep. You know, and he got out of it and kind of broke down the sideline, got a first down, you know. So we were harassing him the whole game. You know, I don't know how many catches the tight end had. That's a really good player. I don't know how many he had. Our guys deflected a bunch of balls. Um, they've got that, the wide out last week that had 100 yards. Taylor, whatever his name, had two touchdowns. I don't know how many catches he had. Do they have any catches? One. I mean, so that's pretty good. I think we harassed them and uh, got after their, their, their skill guys that can make a, make a difference. No question. I mean, the bottom line is, is here's, here's what we have. We, we've already played, um, you know, here, here we are, okay? We, we, if you win every game in the West, you know how hard it is to not win the West? I mean, just keep winning. Keep winning the games in the West, and we'll be West champs. This week's not a West game, but we got to win that one. That one puts you in position. Then win the other West games, you're West champs. Okay, we have everything in front of us that we want. And I'm not, I'm not talking about that's never going to come to our players and say, hey, oh, yeah, okay, great. We're, no, our players understand that. Everything's still out there for us. That's our goal. 
Okay, so we'll get ready for Charlotte, but we always talk about the divisional games and how much it means double because you win all the tiebreakers. So that's this was a divisional game. It means double.